On this channel, we have a playlist all about testing hotel rooms, and you'd think that I'd run out of ideas at some point, but I always find something new. So in the bathroom, after you take a shower, like in most bathrooms and hotels, you end up with a very foggy mirror. And of course, the walls are also wet. And it's because if you look at the ceiling, we don't have an exhaust fan in here, it looks like. And in fact, that's not exactly what's going on. And there's a really cool fix for this. If there were no exhaust fan, then that bathroom would be pressure neutral. But when I drop a hose into the room, measure with my pressure gauge, which this is a TEC DG8, you can see that it is depressurized in that room with reference to the rest of the hotel room. Which is because behind this acoustical tile ceiling, if we insert a pressure probe up in there, you can see that we have a major depressurization. So let's go explore. So above the ceiling, we have this plenum, which you can see is being used for our air handler. That's actually quite a huge ceiling cavity for a hotel. Uh, we've got all our plumbing, our fire sprinkler system, and this right here, which if I put my hand over it, is pulling. So this is some kind of an exhaust system, and it looks like it's maybe just daisy chain. So this might be in like, the suction is coming from this end. They have, they have an opening and then it continues on to probably the next one. Uh, although there needs to be firewalls between the different units, uh, which it looks like we have. So I don't think that can crawl into other hotel rooms, uh, ceiling cavities through here. Yeah, it's traveled. And that insulation is just for sound, by the way. So now, if that thing is up there, there is an exhaust fan inside of this cavity, and it looks like it's actually sucking on the entire ceiling cavity of my unit. Then I could actually put an exhaust port in this room where it belongs, which is if there is the door, I want to put it in the furthest corner of the shower. So if I was to like so, now, let's see what that did to the depressurization in the room. Actually made the whole bathroom almost twice as depressurized as it was before. And our ceiling cavity is still depressurized with reference to the bathroom itself. The hotel room in general, with reference to the hallway, is slightly pressurized. So there's even more going on than what I just measured. There's a supply side also. So next shower, looking great. And it's because we've pulled that uh, out of the way so that we've got the suction in there. Remember, we're helping it with the geometry of this. So air is going in because it's only got that much space to go in through. If we open this up, right after the shower, then it comes across the room because that's not enough to do the job. I've stayed in this hotel before. It's called the Arcadian Hotel in Brookline, which is in Boston, it's a neighborhood in Boston. And uh, the previous video was all about the carbon dioxide levels, which was the lowest that I've ever seen uh, in a hotel here. I have since also stayed in a Fairfield down in uh, Orlando area in Ocoee that was also really well ventilated. I'm pretty sure that one even had an ERV. So very interesting anyway. The engineers who are working on these hotels seem to be getting their, their legs under them with the ventilation stuff. So this is actually really exciting. Uh, please do comment below if you have other th like hotels to recommend. Maybe I passed by one that you've always been interested in because it's real weird. I need more juicy ideas. So make sure that you uh, like and subscribe. Tune in next time.